My name is Kevin Marr, and I'm the author of a, I believe they call it a Blackley comic novel, uh, called The Fields, which is the story of a teenage boy called Jim Finnegan, who grows up in Dublin in the mid-1980s uh, amongst a household of quite uh, rambunctious women. Uh, Jim's life is upended one night at a local party, or a hoolie, as we call it in these parts, uh, and at that party um, he becomes he starts to fall in love with a girl called Sive, and at the same time he becomes the focus of attention of uh, a deviant priest called Father Luke O'Quilligan. Uh, from that point on, uh, Jim's life kind of spirals out of control. He moves to London, he meets a whole host of new characters who offer him the possibility of different experiences, different landscapes, and a hint at redemption. The voice of Jim was, it was it's fundamental to the novel and to the story, uh, but for me writing it, it, it was kind of effortless, and yet at the same time I always knew it had to satisfy three very specific criteria. One was that it had to be uh, kind of naive and innocent, but not faux naive, genuinely, genuinely innocent the way I think we all kind of are at the centre. And then it also had to be unwavering. Jim experiences terrible things, but he doesn't change. Yeah, and I think that's kind of a male way to react to life and to, to situations. He's just the same. He gives you the same thing the whole time. Uh, and finally, it had to be the voice of somebody explaining to an alien or someone you know, from another culture about life in Ireland and, and bits of, of life in London. You know, it had to be this sort of very, very simple, um, formal explanations of what's going on in the book, as if you had no idea uh, where he lived and where he was from. The comical aspect of Jim's voice was something that was really important to me on a purely selfish level because I just needed something to make me laugh. Uh, I needed something to keep me sane at the keyboard and the challenge I set myself every day when I sat down was I want to do something that makes me laugh. Uh, hence I wrote a book about cancer, terrorism, abuse and spiritual revelation.